friend L. Steve here. And Larson. And welcome back to Going In Raw News Brief. Get, get to keep this brief. What's Say that every time. What's in the news? What's in the news? It's been a little while since you we've think done you know me. Dinner on this day. So we talked last Friday, I believe, on our Friday news show about the potential of Edge, you think you know me, did you, did making you. a return to the ring. And then basically right after we upload the video, which talked about that, Fight Oracle tweeted the following, quote, Edge has a medically cleared to turn, re, to, turn to in ring competition, WWE, no word currently on when he will wrestle, but he's medically cleared and under contract with WWE. Yeah, but then Edge, directly from the source himself, Edge responded by tweeting this, no, I'm not. And, no, I'm not. So I guess that'd be, no, I'm not medically cleared, and no, I'm not wrestling again. You would think. You would think. WWE likes to keep these things under wraps. Of course. And so they'll, they'll engage in these misinformation tactics. Unless, Campaigns, yes. Unless he was, unless he was yeah. telling the truth there. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but Fightful Select then reported that there was speculation bordering on confirmation, borderline confirmation, at SmackDown that Edge had indeed been cleared yeah now mike johnson of pw insider uh, is reporting that edge recently spotted pittsburgh pennsylvania on quote wwe business mm. what kind of business well uh wb's head of medical dr joseph maroon he's in pittsburgh he's in pittsburgh he's in pittsburgh i believe that's where uh or potentially uh that's where uh, wrestlers go to get like physicals get medical clearance now, of course, Edge is, I think, isn't he literally the most decorated champion? He is the most decorated champion in WWE history. I think he's won he's... 32 titles. And one of those titles was a tag team championship with one Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he's to if he's coming back, it's going to be for Crown Jewel. He's going to be a member of Team Hogan. Or I guess he also won the tag team titles with one Randall Orton. They have history together. So you're saying he could be on Team Flair. No, but he'll be Flair. on Team Hogan because they're kind of doing Team Flair as the heel team. And team they're the Hogan bad guys. as the face team. So. And Edge would definitely be a good guy yeah. if he came back. Or maybe he's just going to come back and have one last live sex celebration. We can hope. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's exciting stuff. Yeah, man. I mean, if you want to see that. He did a lot of neat things. I mean, he still has a few more neat things in him. I like Edge. I if do, he, too. If he still has something in the in the tank, then by all means, he looks great. Yeah, he does. Uh, also, uh, speaking of guys who were injured and might not be, but these are people who are injured, and hopefully they won't be soon. True. Sasha Banks and Samoa Joe, of course, uh, they're injured. We got a couple of updates on them. First on Sasha Banks. Prior to last night's Raw, post-wrestling reported that Sasha had not been cleared to compete, adding, quote, no timelines were provided for us, so there is no indication that either injury is serious. PW Insider then had oh, more. There's I'll talk about Bray Wyatt. Sorry, but Bray Wyatt was in the the dark match segment after Raw last night. So okay, uh, PW Insider had some more specifics saying Sasha Banks has been pulled from in ring action following WWE Hell in a Cell. The word making the rounds is she su she suffered a back injury in her match with Becky Lynch. There is no word yet on the severity of the issue. Um, as for Samoa Joe, PW Insider is saying that he is currently recovering from a broken thumb, or has been recovering from a broken thumb, and is awaiting clearance for an in-ring return. That's very exciting. I always like when people go, like, I don't know, if it's an injury, that sucks. But Samoa Joe, guy like him, he goes away, comes back, he always has an impactful debut. Yeah, man. And then he sinks back into sort of the mid mid card, upper mid card, uh, mid mid card. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he'll 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 he well, might flirt. win like a U.S. title he or something. He the main event sometimes. He does. He's sure. put in a title program. Yeah. So he's great with whatever. Upper he mid does. card. He's great in whatever he does. Regardless. Exactly. He is. So uh, hopefully both Sasha and it seems like Joe is on the mend. Yep. And hopefully Sasha's injury is nothing serious. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope. Yeah. Uh, and let's uh, talk about all the goodwill WWE got following. Hell in the Cell and how it reflects in the ratings. Uh, down uh, last week's or this yesterday's average was 2.334 million. Um, started out about 2.4 first hour, 2.3 second hour. And if you're good at math, you can probably figure out it's 2.2 third hour. Yeah, Tyson Fury, not quite the draw. Maybe they expected him no. to be. Uh, not a lot of people are tuning in to see Seth Rollins either, I guess. He, well, he wasn't there. Oh, I know. But like. Yeah. Oh, whether he would be there or You'd not. you think they'd tune in. Oh, I wonder if he's going to try to. I wonder if they're going to try to do anything to uh, 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 clean up this mess they made following Hell in the Cell. I mean, I didn't really have a problem with it, but a lot of people did. Um, 
uh, but no, they didn't. They didn't really. They hardly mentioned it. Well, I mean, they <laughs> that was part of them trying to clean it up. Just to <laughs> keep him off TV. Bit under the rug. Keep him off TV. Yeah, it's going to be interesting when he comes back, because I kind of feel like keeping him off TV just makes it worse. Yeah, you know. Yeah, if they just address something last night, at least to do a little something to further the story. A tweet. Exactly. Yeah, tweet. A tweet. Hey, I might have gone too far, but you know, I'll, I'll I'll do nearly anything to hold on to my title. Yeah, something or just like a, the way he really feels, which is probably I'm very disappointed in the WWE universe for not accepting and loving everything we did last night. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, so, uh, my statement: best pro wrestling in the world. Period. Yeah, right. So uh, so yeah, well uh, yeah. That's I mean I, that, you know last se- last week was the season premiere. You'd expect some sort of drop, a up. little bit of a bump. Yeah. So for yeah. last week, yes, and then we interested to see what the SmackDown ratings are like. That's going to be really interesting after. Uh, uh, Getting averaging around four million viewers. Yeah, that's going to be very. How many of those viewers are going to stick around? You think we're going to be shocked by just how many people don't watch? You think? No, I'm ex- I'm expecting a, a, a decent drop. Yeah, me too. I think it's going to be kind of shocking just how much it drops. It'll probably like two point seven. You think it's going to be that boy? That that'd be shocking. Yeah, no. What was it? It was four. It was well, the the rock segment got over four, but then the average I think was three point eight eight. Three point eight eight. So a million people. If it goes watching. under three, I think they're going to be like, oh crap. You think? Because so I think a lot of people were, or I wonder if a lot of people are, are soured by Brock squashing Kofi. They're like I'm not going to watch for a while. On the other hand, they might tune in to see like what they're going to do with Kofi. Entirely possible. We have like four days to find out though. I know. Anyways, uh, that's it for news brief. Thanks everybody for watching. We appreciate it. Till next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.